here with Jacob Noe with Memphis BJJ. We're discussing his upcoming fight, uh, Empire, January the 14th, with Chris Bell. Describe your fight style to us. Um, I try to stay rounded. Um, of course, I, I start off boxing and wrestling, and uh, I've, I've come to Memphis Jiu Jitsu to get my submission skills better, and I've been focusing on Muay Thai. So I think about all, uh, all four Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, um, wrestling, and boxing. You mentioned wrestling. How long have you been wrestling? Well, I hadn't been wrestling long, actually. Um, just like MMA wrestling, like um, keeping position and going for position so I can ground and pound. Um, I actually first started working with some guys over here at Memphis Jiu Jitsu with Zach Lee and Coach Doty and Jeff Presley. Do you feel it taught you discipline? Oh, uh, yeah, it's helped me out a lot. I know it has. Um, I've, I've always used my strength for wrestling, but now I'm using my technique and being a little bit more technical, and um, I think it's helping out a lot. Tell me about your very first fight experience. How was your nerves and your mindset that day? Uh, I remember it. Um, it was, you know, nerves are something that I'm still working on. Um, I think that don't that comes with uh, you know your fighter experience or how many times you've been in a cage. But you know, you wouldn't be human if you didn't get the butterflies or get nervous. You know what I mean? So. Um, I think in time it helps, but I am starting to learn that I'm more dangerous when I do relax and I can think sharply. How has your training been for this upcoming fight with Chris Bell? <laughs> it's been hell. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, we've been working really hard, and I feel like I'm probably in the best shape that I've been in so far. Um, we've had some really good guys come over and uh, help us a lot. and. Um, our conditioning is uh, really one of the main focuses because we you know we all know how to fight over here. It's just who can outlast. Um, it's been kind of hard with the weight cut. I'll be honest because of you know first you got Thanksgiving, then you got Christmas, and then you got New Year's. So it's like wow, you know. So it, it's been kind of hectic, but I think we're, we're going to be fine. And I think a lot of our guys, but we like. Okay, Jason McDonald. <laughs> he was smart. He uh, told everybody to get in here the day after New Year's, New Year's Day, and we're going to work wrestling, and it's mandatory. So, all right, we come in here the first two minutes of the two hours uh, are wrestling, and after that, conditioning. So he tried to get us all sweated out. So I think he knew what he was doing. But anyway, big ups to Jason. <laughs> what can your local fans expect to see out of you? You have a pretty large fan base. Well, that's great. You know, I've worked hard and I've tried to be really humble and uh, not let anything go to my head. And also, you know, people only respect you, you know, if, if you're good to them, you know. Um, but at the same time, I can throw down and they know that. Um, I'm glad I have a fan base. I, I appreciate all of them because, you know, this is my dream and, I, you know, I've been pushing really hard to get there. And um, I think what you can expect out of me is the best fight fighter, Jacob Noe, that you've seen, you know, because, like I said, I've, I, I've been waiting to really show my potential. And I, I, I train probably harder than anybody, you know, well, not harder than anybody, but I, I train really hard and I push myself as much as I can. and. Like I said, I don't think everybody, anybody's really seen my potential yet. So I'm really, I'm, I'm ready to reach my fighter identity and show everybody else what I can do. And your prediction on how this is going to end? What round? Ah, uh, that's a hard one. You know, I don't care. I, like I said, I, I can guarantee you that I'm going to win because I can't lose. You know, this is this is the one. This is one that I need. I need this under my belt and. Um, I'm going to get it, and I'm not accepting anything else. You know, uh, as far as what round, I don't care. Uh, you know, I just want to win, and I'm going to. What's next for you? I think I got um, a couple more fights, and hopefully, I'll be looking at signing a contract somewhere. You know, I'm, I know I'm getting close. I can feel it, and I've heard. You know, I'm getting close. So, you know, I'm just taking it one day at a time, one fight at a time, and I'm gonna do my best. You know, and that's all I can do is just put everything I got into it, and hopefully, it'll take care of itself. Out of all of your amateur and pro fights, training, sparring, et cetera, what would you say is the uh, what was the hardest hit you've ever landed? The hardest lick that I've ever landed. Um, I, I hit Trundle in the gut one time, and he started crying. So <laughs> big ups to Trundle. Now that guy's that guy's one of my best friends. What do you do for fun when you're not training or fighting? Training or fighting? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I like to spend a lot of time with my family and my kids, you know, you know, it, it seems like sometimes that's not enough. I don't have enough time to do that because I'm always training, you know. Do you have any hobbies? Um, 
I like to play Xbox when I'm not training, of course, because I don't take much energy most of the time. Ah, somebody said I like to eat. That's not funny. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I do. I do like to eat, I'll be honest. I think, you know, I, I used to fight a heavyweight, and I cut down, you know, to fight a 205 to be a better force to reckon with, you know. And I, I miss the good foods, you know what I mean? But other than that, you know, it's just like Xbox and, you know, spending time with my kids, and that's it. Do you have a game tag you'd like anybody to find you on Xbox Live? No, not yet, not yet, not yet. I don't, I don't play Xbox Live yet. I wish I did, but I, I don't. All right. Any last comments, words of wisdom, anybody you'd like to thank? I want to thank everybody over at Memphis Judo and Jiu-Jitsu. I would like to thank all my sponsors. You know, it's a lot of them, and it's kind of hard to name, and it's random sometimes. So, but um, everybody that believes in me, and of course, all the fans out there. You know, you said I had a large fan base. Well, I appreciate every one of you guys because I need, you know, the fuel for my fire and I and I, of course I'd like to thank Dave Ferguson for taking a chance and bringing me over here at this school and taking his time he knew what I wanted out of this and he's put into me and I I've always had heart but now this time I have somebody that believes in me and I appreciate it we believe in you and we look forward to watching you fight January 14th okay thanks a lot thank you and good luck